Oh my god, his butt's so smooth. Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to MK. It's me, Robin, and today I'm gonna be looking through r slash made me smile. Oh, it had better. Let's get into it. <laughs> I'm gonna boop it. Presenting eight reasons I want a hamster. Well, where are the reasons? Oh, he looks pretty excited. What'd you get him? Oh, look at this dude. He's got himself a hen hat. The sun is out, the sky is blue, it's beautiful, and so are you. God, <laughs> shut up. If a rainbow does it make you smile every time you see it? Even if it's being made by a garden hose, you're probably dead inside. Look at this majestic bastard. Holy crap. Our maid quit because she used her earnings to educate her daughters and two of them have now graduated and have jobs, so our maid doesn't need to work anymore. Quite heartwarming if true. Dang. Looks like he is experiencing the epitome of relaxation and to be honest, I'm pretty envious. Simple facts I'm terrified of my toddler discovering. Public parks don't randomly close. TVs don't run out of batteries. There is no actual world record for fastest at putting away toys. Chicken the animal and chicken the food are one and the same. Wait a minute, TVs don't run out of batteries? Hey team, today is going to be gorgeous out. My assignment to you for today is to get outside, do something active, observe nature, feel the sun, etc. I will push all of the due dates back a day. Now that is a true professor. My name is Ned, now I'm a bed. And if I roughs, I scare the fluffs. I cannot move, I just play dead. My name is Ned, and I'm a bed. Shel Silverstein is an incredible poet. Ebony and Ivory, living together in perfect harmony. God, ducks are just the cutest animals in the world. Did you know you can't breathe in when you smile? Just kidding. I just wanted to make you smile. Aww. Because we all need it. Here's what happens when a cat touches a plasma ball. His toe beans have ignited. How me and my grandma text. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Send a selfie. Girl, you shine. You look so nice. Look at them brows. <laughs> Hey, after you're done wiping his tears away, can you come wipe mine? I've been crying all day. I just found out that my husband fills the dog's water dish, not from the tap, but from the fridge's water purifier feature. She'd do the same for me, he said, that she would. This is fine. Yeah, sure it is. Yesterday, I stopped to pet a dog, and as the owner walked away, I heard him say to her, you see, everybody loves you, and you don't even love yourself. And I'm gonna be thinking about that for the next five years. Same, actually. Ice cold fact. It's stupid when people keeping it real means hustling in the streets until you die or go to prison. F that part. Preach, ice tea. Hey, bro, you still have that owl for sale? Owl? What owl? Oh, I guess it was a dream, lol. Okay. <laughs> After watching customers pay money to buy cookies from a store, a dog in Colombia started bringing a leaf in its mouth and presenting it to the store attendant. The staff decided to play along, and now the dog comes to buy cookies every day. <laughs> How sweet. Just delivered pizza to an elementary school and all of the kids started a pizza chant as I walked in and put it on the table. I was giving out high fives on the way out. Felt like the frickin' man. Man, you brought pizza. You were the man. I present you Chonky Cat Cankles. <laughs> this is Margo. She's a cat from my shelter and she got a tiny ear. She cute. She smile. Oh my god, she is smiling. Don't worry, it's paid for. Cashier pays for senior customer who doesn't have enough money for groceries and was about to return items to shelves. We need more people like you in the world. I adore my coffee guy. I always get a large coffee and at first I'd walk in and he'd be like, large coffee, right? But now he just does finger guns at me and goes, large. And I'd be lying if I said that wasn't the best part of my day. I need to get a coffee guy friend. After not seeing my dog in five months, I Skyped with him last night. My mom sent me this after we disconnected. <laughs> it's too cute. You know, just packing the essentials is all. Eight-year-old with rare skin condition finds a new best friend, a dog with the same skin condition. <laughs> oh, great. My grandpa never got his high school diploma because he was drafted in World War II as senior year. He finally got it today. For a man that conquered everything else in his life. It's good to see. As a kid, I spent hours breeding Lapras and releasing them because the Pokedex said they were almost extinct. That's actually adorable. Minds of kids are beautiful. I would like to bring up the fact that as of Sun and Moon, Lapras are no longer endangered. This kid single-handedly saved the Lapras species. 
species. Now this is the news I want to see on my timeline. A three-year-old cancer survivor served as a flower girl in her bone marrow donor's wedding. This bike may look odd to some, but this man built it so that his blind brother can feel the wind like he does. That's quite the brother. That is quite the brother. Feel the wind, my son. Feel it. Excuse me, I think you left your cat outside. Oh, thank you, you're right. I did indeed do that. Himalayan marmots come for their regular feed by a caring lady. Aww, a marmot grandma. <laughs> Creamy is concerned that you might not have loved yourself enough today. I'll do it for you, Creamy. I'll try. I'll try my best. Philly was hit by a car and left on the sidewalk for five hours until three LAPD officers found him, rescued him, and then refused to let him get put down and adopted him as a member of their family. The sign of a true good person right there. Dogs are a stupid lot. Oh, I don't think so. I think dogs are pretty smart. I think we're lucky to have dogs with us. I think having dogs around has made this a better world. Yep, you're right, Mr. Schultz. You're 100% right. Don't forget to close all the tabs in your head, too. I would if I could. I genuinely don't know how to interface with my own brain. <gasps> Did you fall in the water? Yep, that is water. Don't worry, I'll call for help. Help! 60 years later, my great-grandmother tried on her wedding dress, and it still fits perfectly. That's actually amazing. I know at least a few people that would consider this to be complete and utter paradise. <laughs> Today I learned that a cat once co-authored a physics paper. In 1975, a physicist had just finished writing a paper and was ready to publish, but realized that he had used we instead of I throughout, despite being the sole author. Not wanting to edit the paper, he listed his cat, Chester, as co-author. This is the cat, by the way. Dang, Chester, you are one smart boy. I met my best friend on GTA, and we recently met in real life. Rockstar featured our story on their website. <laughs> Friendship knows no boundaries. Someone dressed a Pomeranian dog up as Paddington Bear, and now the world seems a slightly better place to be in than it did yesterday. <laughs> I'll say. Son has scar from his cancer surgery. Dad tattoos his son's scar on his own head to show him that it's nothing to be ashamed of. A real dad. Can I have like 40 of them, please? You know what? No. We'll take 46. I did it! I won, Mom! I won against Andrew! That's great, sweetie! Dad, I won! Did he really win, or did you let him win? Does it really matter? No, it doesn't. Now that is one proud new dad. Just look at his big nose! Street Singer was ignored by everyone. Then four kittens came to show their support. I'd rather have four kittens than a thousand people, I tell you what. Four-year-old me. Watch me, Grampy! Four-year-old me does nothing. Grampy. <laughs> <laughs> My last chemo! Infusion complete. That deserves an applause. That just straight up deserves one, doesn't it? A German circus is using holograms instead of live animals for a cruelty-free magical experience. And it's cool. Cool isn't the word I'd use. I'd use freaking amazing! Well, technically that's two words, but you get what I mean. We got another Mr. Rogers and a bloodstained sweater ending to this story, it looks like. Dang, that's one gorgeous family. Look at them! The four horsemen of wholesomeness. Life. Peace. Nature. Self-love. Where does LeVar Burton fit in here? Because I feel like he's the fifth horseman. What girls think? Ew, all boys just want nude and sex. What we actually want. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. There are very few baby animals that are really just not cute, and a baby goat is definitely a cute one. Dang, okay. Grandma looking more fly than I ever will. The patient is cold and unresponsive. We need to administer 30 cc's of dopamine stat. <laughs> This man I work with is a single dad with a 15-year-old daughter who's recently turned vegan. And every time I see him, he asks me what I'm having for lunch that day and writes it down for her if he thinks it's something she'd like. My heart. Oh, my heart. My father-in-law was a preacher for 40 years. Always had to work hard to make ends meet. He's never had a fancy steak. So for number 68, I made him a two and a half pound tomahawk. <laughs> That man looks so pleased. I want my rats to grow up with positive role models. So we watched Ratatouille together. Gravy was really into it. Gravy is adorable. Judy Hops, reporting for duty. I may not understand the process behind things like this occurring at all, but one thing I know for sure is I'm excited to see where this technology can improve further in the years to come. He's never seen himself in the mirror, so I tell him how handsome he is at least 20 times a day. Make it 30, huh? There was some racist crap here, but I covered it up with this 
picture of a cat, solid move. If you have a small pee-pee, smile. If you have a big one, put in a coin. This guy deserves a PhD in marketing. That he does! My dad telling me the same story for the thousandth time. Me pretending that I'm hearing it for the first time because I love him. Don't lie to your father like that. Be honest with him. No, I'm just kidding. You're good. Patrons, keep social distance guidelines or Draper City will need to close this park. Thank you. Woof. Woof, woof, woof. Woof, 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 woof. Woof, woof. Draper Parks and Recreation. <laughs> Gee, I'm really glad they translated that. Once, a little boy sent me a charming card with a little drawing on it. I loved it. I sent him a card and I drew a picture of the wild thing on it. I wrote, Dear Jim, I loved your card. Then I got a letter back from his mother and she said, Jim loved your card so much he ate it. That to me was one of the highest compliments I'd ever received. He didn't care that it was an original Maurice Sendak drawing or anything. He saw it, he loved it, he ate it. <laughs> <laughs> what a dork. I love him. Bob Ross used to receive up to 200 letters from fans per day. When regular letter writers fell out of touch, he would phone them just to see if they were okay. How'd you get my phone number, Bob? I never put that in a letter. Just three breathtaking people looking at each other. But wait, there's two- Oh, <laughs> I get it. Thanks, guys. Why has this cow been miniaturized? I'm not complaining, I'm just curious. In Turkey, a man's been going around dressed like Superman. He drives around in a beetle, buys milk and groceries for the elderly, and delivers it to their doorsteps. When he was asked why, he said, My superpower is doing good for the neighborhood. Well, that makes sense. You are the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. My wife took me on a date to the movies. It was stupid, cute, and very expensive. Dang, those prices. Landlord tells restaurant owners, pay employees instead of rent. You're god dang right. My ex and I split up two years ago, and he still sends our dog, Apollo, a birthday card and gift card to Petco on his birthday. No bad blood. Dad started putting in a new toilet, walked away for a few minutes, and came back to this. Jeez, you must have scared the crap out of him. Finally got my prosthetics in. Those are amazing. Wow. This is Dory. He got tired walking up the hill, but that's okay because he brought his wagon. Then he ate a dandelion. 14 out of 10. Overall, a lovely evening. <laughs> you know, as cute as those two are, I really don't like that sneaky boy staring at him from over yonder. Yeah, the one right there behind the pillow. Clean dozen in the book. I'm not afraid. Good for you, Eminem. Our principal told these two boys that their jeans were nice, so they went back to the mall and got him a pair too. Amazing that they got his size. Oh wait, not really, he pretty much is the same size as them, never mind. One sorry, three generations. I hope I have a daughter to continue this. I'm sure you will, and it's a really good tradition. My mom is quarantining alone, and to make it less unbearable, she sets little timers for herself to do random enjoyable things throughout her day. She calls them fun bombs. I'm actually gonna try that. In Iraq, in the book market, books remain in the street at night because Iraqi says, the reader does not steal and the thief does not read. Did that boy just get done eating some sand? Yay, a new toy! OMG, it squeaks! I love squeaky toys so much! I must destroy it. Too true. Kids presented us with a written declaration of war. We would like to have sole power in this house. Example, control bedtime. Nice, nice. That's all you really need. If you do not sign, we will declare war on the parents. Sign here. Don't do it. I want to see this war pan out. I want to know what they're going to do. This is Moose. He just confirmed that pupils can dilate because of love. Sneaky tongue slip as well. 14 out of 10. Would give the world to. I agree. This dog looks like Bob Ross. This dog's giving me real uncanny valley vibes right now. My apartment complex has a community pantry where we, residents, drop things we don't need for those who may need it. Check this out. It's actually just a really good idea. There he is. There's God himself doing his best work. Tried to take some photos of an octopus, but he grabbed the camera and took some of me instead. What a champ. I feel like every hospital in the world needs to have at least one animal on staff to make people feel better while they're recovering. How to teach your dog to drive. Oh my gosh, he looks so terrified in that situation. Princess Diana broke the royal rules for her son William by taking part in the Mother's Day running race at her son's school. She won. Holy cow. Judging by those photos, she really got into it. Oh my god, look at this boy. Oh, so cute. You know, I never learned how to pronounce the name of this little guy, but that doesn't really matter because I'm more focused on how happy he's making me feel right now. Nine-year-old boy who kept getting in trouble for doodling in class gets a job decorating a restaurant with his drawings. Man, Facebook is gonna have him decorate their office in like 10 years time, guaranteed. This meteor? Dang, he came out looking pretty good on the other side of that crash. This is the biggest toilet I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, I get it. Congrats to you and 
and thank you very much for what you do. Look, he's very, very, very adorable, but I'm wondering what exactly is going on in front of him to warrant that reaction. You know what's weird? Day by day, nothing seems to change, but pretty soon, everything's different. That quote always kills me. Dear Nana and Pop Pop, thank you so much for a beautiful angel ornament. It is like nothing we have. I love the fuzzy poodle sweater. It is very huggable. The $10 are going to go into my bank account to save for a car. The scrapbooking supplies are awesome. I used them for the front of this card. Thanks for everything. Dang, that $10 seriously grew. <laughs> I work with a guy from Mexico who doesn't speak a lot of English. A Canadian goose made a nest by one of the paddock gates and hissed at him while he was putting horses out. He comes back to us after and says, I do not like the cobra chicken. <laughs> Every now and then, you gotta stop and smell the roses. And the frog. How did I not see the frog? Oh my god. I really admire the people with the dedication to do these. <laughs> I could never do it myself. My little nephew won best costume at school today. As well he should have. That looks better than most cosplayers I've seen that do it for a living. You know, as nice as these setups look, it just seems like it would be incredibly uncomfortable to eat at. I don't know why, I just get that feeling. When you really need to pee but your dog is just too comfortable, yep, you're gonna die there. That's the rule. Hello, freight train. We hope you and your family are doing well and staying healthy. We just want you to know that we're thinking of you. Here's a small gift for you during this time of quarantine. We can't wait to see you again. Happy reading! At a half marathon in Alabama, a dog wandered to the race start after her owner let her out to relieve herself. She followed the runners after the starting shot and finished seventh. The race organizers gave her a medal. Well, she deserves a medal. Now that's one cute little birthmark. Also seriously, those eyes. Those deep eyes, holy cow. My Japanese cat loves to sit near my rice cooker and smell the steam of freshly cooked rice. Take it in, little buddy. Take it all in. Oh my god. God, give me a hundred, please. Now that's a lot of gummy burgers. Gimme. And with that, we have come to the end of today's video, folks. Always remember, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. And hey, if you really liked the video, consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon. I know you want to. And until next we meet, I'll be seeing ya.